Right, what I'd like to do is to use an option button. Now if I first of all go to insert and forms, I come up with these. The very first thing I want is the group box. So I'm going to grab the group box there and draw that onto there. Alright. Now I'm going to click on onto an option button there and draw an option button there. I'm going to draw another one there and a third one just there. Okay, so I've got three option buttons. If I click onto it, alright, let's click off there, there. Okay, now what you need to make an option button work are three parts. One, the option button. Two, the linking cell. And three, the formula. So the first thing to do is to go to the option button, which you see I have put inside a box with with three option buttons. Okay, so I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to Format Control and I'm going to link this cell with this box here. This cell here. Alright, so... And I'm also going to click on to 3D Shading. Not that I've ever seen any 3D shading. Okay, so you see when I click onto there, it says cell 3. When I do that, it says cell 2. And when I click off here and click onto there, it says cell 1. Right, I'm going to go onto there, and I'm going to highlight it, and then change it. And I'm going to write on there, tomorrow. On here, I'm going to highlight this and write today. And on here, I'm going to highlight this and write yesterday. OK, I could fill in this cell here and make it red. I could fill in that one there and make it ouch and make it blue I think I might need to make that mm. and this one click into there and make that green it would be better if I made that yellow then it would make this one light blue, no, blue, lighter blue, that's it, and then I don't have to show up the date, right, I don't have to change the colour of the text. Alright, so, so far so good, I have linked this with this. Now what I need to do is to link this with this. What I'm trying to do is when I click onto there I want the date to come up to here. Now what you should realize is that there are various formulas for the date. There's equals now open bracket, let's put it up there, equals now open bracket close bracket. When I press enter that gives us the date and the time or if I come to there and I write equals today, open bracket, close bracket, when I click that, it gives me the date, the year, nothing else. 
Okay, obviously I put that that as an example down there without the equals, otherwise that would just turn into that. Alright, so I'm going to use that in here. I don't need forms anymore, so I'll lose that. Now I'm coming to here. I'll go up to the function box, click onto there, and up comes the function box, and I'm going to choose choose. Here's choose. Now, the first thing that I need in choose is the index number or the cell. If I click onto there, I need that cell there and I'll click back on to show it. Now I've got that cell there and I must make it absolute by pressing F4. Now the next thing I want is to choose here in cell 1 value 1 I need today open bracket close bracket and I'm saying that that I'm obviously using this equals today thing. That should be tomorrow. Wait a minute. Today is there. So if I'm doing to tomorrow, then I need to add 1 plus 1. Okay. Well, then in that one, I put today, open bracket, close bracket. Okay, that's today, as I'm showing there. So this one, today open bracket, close bracket, minus 1. Now you're saying, why didn't I put equals there? Well, the equals is at the start of things, so I don't need to put it onto here. OK, I've done all of that, and I need to click on to there. Oh, look at that. And it comes out, tomorrow is the 21st of April. Today, the 20th of April, and yesterday, the 19th of April. Now you might have said, hang on, how come that came out like that? Well, if I go up to Format and Cells, I get that. If I cl click onto the Number and OK it, now that's the number I might have expected to come up. Remember, time started, as far as Excel is concerned, 1 January 1900. There it is, 1 January 1900. I could, if I went up to Format, Cells, and change that to a number with no decimal places. Look at that. That was one. Every year since then, every day since then, it's added a number on there. So if I put two on there, it will be the 2nd of January, and so on. So, the number of days that's gone since January the 1st, 1900, is 40,288 and that's today's date how do I make it into de today's date I click onto there go up to format and cells take it down to date and choose a date I like the look of I quite like that day month year when I OK it it changes it there. 20 April 2002. Alright, so how have I done this? 1. Group box. 2. Option button. 1, 2, 3. Then I've linked those to the linking cell. Then I've chosen choose as a function and I've linked choose this cell here to that one that's linking cell there 
when I change these it changes that and that changes this remember you must format this cell according to the the date rather than number that is how to make uh, to use option buttons thank you